Well, hey folks, Species7 here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 19. Now, I thought for something a little bit different today, we would have a look at, uh, the old Platinum map from FS17, now the Giants has redone it for 19. So here we are, uh, Estancia La Paco, or however you would pronounce that if you actually knew how. I thought we'd have a look around. Now, what had me really curious was the fact that, uh, well, this map came with a giant house. <laughs> but as we can see, the giant house is gone. Hmm. So giants did some editing. Hmm. What the heck is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they left the sidewalk. House goes here. And the swimming pool. Alrighty then. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, the pool looks a little more inviting than it used to, anyway. Alrighty. Yeah, like I said, I just thought we'd have a, uh, a little look around and see what they've done. Now, again, please keep in mind, guys, the details are set pretty low on my, uh, my potato rig here. Well, at least this one kinda comes with a, a, a shed. Hmm. Well, actually, uh, you do pretty good here. I spent, what, 20k on sheds? I could have got them for free. Now, what is with this field? Oh, I guess it's been limed. Okay. Oh my god, the textures are terrible. Um, yeah, I do apologize. I turned the details down. Um, yesterday in an attempt. I mean, right now on this map, I'm getting a steady 60 FPS. Now, that's the best I've done yet. And I didn't wait the, uh... This is, seems to be a lot of, uh... Wilty-looking things here. Maybe because of the warmth. They're eh? ready to harvest. Oh, we don't own this anyways. <laughs> oh, we don't own anything, of course. What am I thinking? This ain't FS-17 after all. Hmm. So I wonder... What's, uh... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, left bumper and left trigger? That's weird. Oh, that's the mini-map. Oh, uh, okay. There we are. There it is in miniature. Alright, let's see here. So what have we got for areas? So here's the sort of... Wow. Half a million bucks for the original property. <laughs> Woohoo! Yikes, no wonder they give you 1.2 mil. Wow. What if you wanted to start over at the biogas? 176k. Uh, what about something close to the shop? 394. The properties seem a uh, little uh, pricey on this side of the planet, don't they? 411,000. Oh, well, that includes that huge strip down there. Straight up field, 320. Wow. There's, uh... No. Oh. For another close to half a million, you could start with just, uh... Just forestry and grass. Wow. Very, very expensive little bits of property, eh? Spokes. Hmm. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. We don't have enough money to buy that piece. Folks. Hmm. I really don't know where a person would uh, be tempted to start, you know? Everything seems uh, really rather pricey. Yikes. Yeah, there's no, uh, 
No cheapness here, man. Wow. None at all. Buy the property with a sawmill for almost a million dollars and start a forestry project, I suppose. <laughs> wow. That's pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy indeed. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh, here we go. 111,000 for that little thing, eh? Hmm. Oh, goodness. No idea. There's some interesting plots here, I'll admit that. But, man. Hmm. Usually you'd kind of want to be either near the shop. Wow, 673, eh? and no field. <laughs> Holy smokes. Hmm. Anyways, so, uh, wow. Expensive place to live. I think the starting from scratch mode here would darn near kill you. You know? Wow. It's, um, I was asked to have a look at chainsaws. Now, where? Ah, there we go. Hmm, nothing new, eh? Still Husky, Jeanserit, McCullough. Well, we'll buy her still. Still a thousand bucks. That's a pretty good deal, you know, when you can, uh, Buy a saw for the same price uh, three years later, two years later. So cool. All right. Now, next hand tool. Activate. Oh, B. Okay. Rotate. Nothing that side, so that's it, eh? Let's, uh, let's check us out a tree, shall we? I don't know. Oh! Oh, right! I can't cut anything because, uh, well, you know. I don't own anything. <laughs> we will set that straight right, Ricky Tick. I mean, the money is ours to spend, right? Let's see what we've got down here. I'm just going to head down to the shop, grab us something to get around on. I mean, th th this isn't the start of a playthrough on this map or anything. Like I said, I just want to give it a sort of a oats, eh? Hmm. Just give it a little peruse. Now again, with, uh, yeah, that's, that's crazy that it's running at a completely constant 60 frames. I wonder if it's the equipment. Because let's face it, there's no gear on here. Alright, the AI traffic doesn't seem to make a difference, I'm still getting a constant. Now, on the other map, the one that we're actually playing, yeah, I'm sure as heck not, so... All right, there was a little bounce down into the 40s as we crashed through the bush, but, yeah. Comes back up pretty quickly. Let me do a full spin about here. Well, staying pretty steady, 60. It actually went up to 61. Yeah, there are other things. As I say, when we actually do things like this, I get a brief little drop as we crash through the bush. You know, I suppose here... Well, even down here isn't too bad, and look at all of this. Yeah, we do get a little bit of, uh, hitchiness in here. But that's pretty extreme stuff. Alright. We are at La Chapeau. Whoosh. Alrighty. Okay. The shop? It doesn't seem to cause issues. Hmm. So... 
buy ourselves something to uh, play on, shall we? Well, to drive a boat. I haven't even looked at these yet. There's the uh, pre-order bonus. The Mahindra Retriever 1000. Ooh, 1978 pickup. That's a cool looking little truck. Mm, mm, mm. Well, just because I'm cheap and because I've never uh, never seen this thing. Oh, really? No color variances, no roll cage variances, nothing? Hmm, 83 horse, holy smokes. The thing's a monster. I mean, that's a lot of horsepower for a vehicle this size. That's an incredible power-to-weight ratio, actually. Huh. Alrighty. Well. Oop. Oop. <laughs> Suitable, I suppose. Oh, we have tension belts? Okay. Oh yeah, right on. So this thing is capable of packing things. That's about all for that. Oh, aren't you tricky. Cool. Very cool. And in here we see this. All right. Let's buy us a piece of property. Let us buy a piece of property. Yeah, let's buy this. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are out of control. Holy smokes. Let's try that again. What does it top out at? Does it top out? 90? Holy smokes. 96k, eh? That's a little scary -o. A little scary -o indeed. Wow. So, where are we? You can't, uh... No, you can't actually put markers on the map. That's kind of, uh, too bad. Too bad indeed. Oh, we're going the wrong way, too. Oops. I thought we bought property on the other end of the map. Whoa. Oh, well. One good thing, I guess. It shouldn't take us long to get here. You know, I haven't changed any of the settings on the uh, controller, but it's got all kinds of drift again. I really hope they uh, get that sort of thing settled out pretty soon. I really do. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> I'd flash your lights at me too. That's just crazy. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, we're still going the wrong way. We need to find a turnoff point somewhere. There's gotta be a way to get out there. Uh, Oh, I see. Okay, right at the corner where we made the turn. Too distracted by the trying to drive this thing. Okay, see, that's what I mean by drift. I'm not touching the controller at all. All right. So when we get to here, we're gonna want to go up the other way. Well, that's a railroad. Is there no actual road up there? I can't follow the railroad. Well, it might be just a short ways back. Ah, there it is. Yeah, we want to turn off here. Well, what? Let's get a bit of a view of the place, shall we? <laughs> Boy, I didn't uh, didn't pick a spot too far out of the way. My question is now, where do we cross the river? Oh, okay, not too far from where we're going. Really easy to spin this thing out, by the way. Yeah, really easy. Yeah, in fact. It's uncontrollable at full out speeds. <laughs> On these dirt road it is, yeah, absolutely. I suppose it doesn't help that I've got such a big dead zone in my steering, but it's either that or every time you stop you don't stop. Okay, we should be able to cross the bridge here. Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, now, somewhere out just at the edge of this trench. Okay, I believe this is pretty much our property. Um, uh, yeah. Well. Okay, so here we are. I do believe we're actually uh, on a piece of ground we own. Huh, a grass field, eh? Owned by you. <laughs> Fruit type grass. Ready to harvest. Nice. Alright, let's find ourselves a tree. And let us test out the power of the chainsaw. Yes, indeed. Uh, you're not a telephone pole, are you? Okay. <laughs> Just had to make sure. Uh, crouch. How do you crouch with controller, man? Oh. Yeah, well, I'm certainly... There you go. Once you uh, start the chainsaw, you don't have to hold the crouch anymore. <laughs> okay. Hmm, a little bit glitchy with the old sound there. 
Too heavy. Too heavy. Oh. Ta da! Chunk of palm wood. Rah rah. Oh, into the well. <laughs> Alright, so that's the uh, use of the chainsaw. Oh, it's this nice little river down here and stuff, man. Cool. Very cool. We can swim now, too, eh? You don't just sink to the bottom, you actually swim. <laughs> no. <laughs> Enter vehicle, I'd just a freak if that had happened. Hmm. Well, well, well. Ooh, what do we got over here? And it's kind of a neat map, you know. Ah, crazy birds. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, I'd like to uh, go and check out the castle across the road. I assume this thing uh, is meant to go pretty much anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is an interesting bit of property. Eh? Again, unfortunately, in Giant's true tradition, you can't actually go into the leading building. And since this was sort of the first map they ever put a building on, you could go in your own house and, well, you're not allowed your own house anymore unless you buy it. Uh, Alright, well... That's a whole lot of bricks that aren't doing much anymore. Oh, uh, my buddy Binks informed me after he had to uh, unfortunately try it for himself this morning. They have not yet figured out how to allow you to reset a trailer without all the goodies inside becoming goodies that no longer exist. So yeah, that's still a thing. If you reset a trailer that's full of grain, you get back an empty trailer. And it's unfortunate. I mean, I can understand. <laughs> That's where I left my car. Dude, where's my car? But, uh, I can sort of understand the fact that, you know, but... Because uh, you are resetting the trailer. You know, the, the contents would have to be determined amounts, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it would be that difficult, to be honest with you, when you look at some of the things they do pull off in this game. But, uh... Ooh, I was about to drive across somebody's field. So I am rather, uh, was rather surprised when he told me he reset it, and then, oh yeah, all the crops gone. Whole field of canola, too, eh? <laughs> Uh, well, hopefully you got it all back, but just quit out and start again. I mean, hopefully it had been saved since you harvested. I'd hate to see you have to harvest it all again, but there you go. Oh, man, this is a trippy bridge. I never went over this bridge in FS17. I don't think I ever went into that little town either. So let's have a look at uh, the actual town. As he spins out and has a massive accident. Alright. Oh, hey, look at all the people. Good morning, or Guten Morgen, or whatever the heck. What is all the. J oh, God. What is the matter with you people? There's bins here, they're freaking empty, and yet you've got garbage all over the. Yeah, 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 dude. Sorry, here. 
Okay. Oh, and he gives... Did you hear that? He still get, had to give one more beep as he went by. Hello. Whoa, dude, you're not stopping, are you? All right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of a run-down bit of a place, isn't it? He has a lick of paint and that sort of thing, but hey. Wow. They still have phone booths here? We don't have phone booths anymore. I mean, I grew up with them. But, yeah, they get rid of them all. It is quite a pretty little town. I mean, in a, you know, like I say, a little bit of a run-down sort of way, but... That's okay. Huh. Yeah, I just never checked the town out when we were... Uh, had access to it in 17. Uh, too many other... Uh, you know, they, they released it, I think it was a little bit late. There were so many modded maps out. There were, you know, everybody was pretty much well into their thing by the time the uh, South America map hit. Everybody tried it long enough to play around with the new sugarcane harvesting equipment, as did I. But I think beyond that, you know, I don't think it ever got that much attention. You know, whether it's because everybody was freaked out by the red dirt or what. But <laughs> I mean, it is uh, all in all. A pretty decent looking map and if you consider uh, it seems that the maps released with 19 at least if you go through the forums and now I understand that pretty much any forum basically these days rhymes with toxic uh, well not any but let's just say a majority um, it is quite a neat little tent <laughs> A little soccer stadium? Sorry, football <laughs> stadium. Hmm. And of course, here it wouldn't spin. Oh, it just doesn't stop. Okay. It's going to say there it doesn't want to spin out at all. Alrighty. And a little bit more ruins. Okay. And we're back on the pavement. Jesus, it flies, eh? Darn near 100k. Alright, let's try the bridge. Can't believe I get such good frames. Oh, what? What? It's not a re- Oh, I am so disappointed. Man. Freakiest darn bridge in the world. We don't get to use it? Hmm. This is a great little off-road machine, yeah? Whoop. <laughs> he says he rolls the darn thing. Whoa, yeah, there we go. Ow. Alrighty then. <laughs> oh, that's just so neat, you yeah. know? That's okay, I just sort of wanted to take a look at this anyway. So, you know, all in all, I mean, I don't know. It wouldn't be a bad place to start, let's face it. That's pretty crazy, eh? That is. Probably the highest up on a pedestal a cow's ever been put. What does it say? Okay. Boo. Huh. You have neither the udder of cow or the, well, you know, the other of bull. So, lots of people wandering around. Yeah, this isn't a, it's not a bad map. It's kind of interesting. Very, very uh, pricey to get a start, though, eh? I mean, geez. Most of the fields and such, most of the little property areas, you're looking at close to half a million. Definitely pricier lots. I mean, with some of them going well above a million, what was the one? 1 1.7 or something? We couldn't even afford it. So, yeah, you'd want to think twice, but... Might be an interesting one. And that little piece of property we bought wouldn't be a bad place to start. You know, big grass field. From what I understand, silage bales are about a thousand buck a pop. 
You know, I mean, granted, yeah, it would take you a long time to get your uh, get your investments and your money back, but I think that's the idea if you start in those particular modes. Is uh, you know, he's not going to rush it, so yeah, it is definitely a kind of an interesting little map. And again, I can't uh, can't believe I'm getting such a good level frame rate. I'm bouncing between 35 and about 10 on the other maps. Although, again, I mean, it could simply be... Um, yeah, you're just not going to give me any good, are you? Never mind. <laughs> I'm have to buy another vehicle. Alright, why don't we do that? Um, yeah, why don't we just do that? Let's see here. Let's see if I get... Ooh, I like that little Fiat I do, too. Oh, uh, sure. Alright, here we are. Uh, still getting a pretty decent 60 frame. That's a neat little tractor. I like that. <laughs> a little slow, eh? <laughs> but I mainly wanted to just see if we'd suddenly start having frame rate issues. Alright, well, I have to say, uh, doesn't seem to be doing too much along that line, so... Hmm... How about, uh, let's buy, I don't know, something to go with it. <sighs> no, she's pretty low horsepower, so let's grab that. Yep. And just to get it really confused, let's throw. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's not very smart, is it, dummy? I can't actually use that. Okay, let's try something a little. Still no, uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be attached to start dropping frames, but still no drop. Oh, there goes the train. Uh, yeah, that seems to be all right, too. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's try uh, this guy. What do we need? 90 horse. 80 horse. Probably a better bet, eh? Okay. Sure. I was also told that I'd mentioned, uh, when I was doing the episode where we were working the baler, and I said, oh, look, the PTO doesn't actually spin. Apparently, it has a cutter around it that, uh, you know, stops you from reaching over to push one of these and getting your sleeve or the edge of your coat or something caught in it, and, you know, going for a little spinny. So, uh, yeah. The, uh, the shaft actually spins inside it. In fact, I was told uh, by the fellow that does it that his has a little safety chain that attaches to the side so the cover doesn't start to spin too, I guess. So that's kind of cool. So it still doesn't seem to be any sort of issues. Um, hmm. None at all. None at all. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. 
But I think that's probably going to do it for this episode, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to see what uh, what giants had come up with here, especially the uh, the original starting area, because there was that big luxurious home, the first one we actually got to feel like was our farmhouse, you know. So, but there you go. Hope everybody enjoyed the episode. We will be back to uh, normal farmicating there the next time around. So. And that gets good frame rates. That's just embarrassingly good. Uh, Till next time, guys. This has been Species 7. Farm Sim 19. All that joy, joy, happy, happy. So take care of each other, folks. And ciao. For now.